Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My throat's a bit weird. I am a little bit ill at the moment, but I really wanted to film a video and my nails are a mess. Sorry, I'm just a bit of a hot mess at the moment. I'm just very, very ill. Um, but that doesn't mean that this show has to stop. So today's video is going to be a really, really simple but quite glam look. I really wanted to do a first impressions on the new NYX Total Control Foundation. I've been using this for about, I wanna say two, three weeks now. Just getting a real feel about feel of it and seeing how I feel about it before I come in here and obviously like show you guys and I absolutely love it so I wanted to sit down and do a first impressions on it as well as just doing a super glam but super simple look so yeah I'm currently bare face I've got nothing on my face so I'm going to start by doing a bit of primer this is going to be a get ready with me so there will be no close-ups of the eyes okay to prime my face I'm going to be using as always the Nivea post shave sensitive balm I like this because it makes my makeup stay on for ages nice thin consistency and now we're just gonna go ahead with the foundation application so the shade I use so caught some Sun I've been to Greece and I have been to Croatia so this is the darkest my skin has been in a really really long time I love it it's just nice glowy so I'm using the shade cappuccino um, just for reference I'm an NC 50 in MAC Pro Long Wear no in MAC Studio Fit for th those who don't know this is the NYX Total Control foundation this is just what it looks like, it is a glass bottle and it works by just popping up in the lid, it's a screw top lid and then there's a pipette and you've got a drop application right there. When I first saw this foundation in store, I thought it would it was a bit watery, so that was my first impression of it, that it was watery, so I kind of walked away and then I, I was lucky enough to receive it in PR, so then I had a, another opportunity to have a really really good play and good fiddle with it and what I love about this is that it's such there's someone asked me what this was similar to I'm gonna pop it on as I talk so one of my friends asked me they said what would you compare this foundation to and I said you just can't compare it to anything else on the market in my opinion it's got a very very unique formula and by unique formula I mean that it's very you can see it literally like spreads like water it's very very lightweight however the coverage I mean just look it's just got such good coverage and you just wouldn't think it because of how um, how thin the consistency is it just has fantastic coverage just look at that just such good coverage i'm gonna get close in for you guys i'm like leaning back a bit too much and as far as color match this matches me quite well and i like to work this in with a damp beauty blender that's how i think has a really good application i have not tried it with a brush and um, brushes generally dense brushes gen generally tend to give you a really nice full floss application because they are so dense and the bristles are packed together. Sponges tend to absorb a lot of the product so you don't get as full of an, ap of a, of an application. I'm not sure if that makes sense whereas brushes are so dense and synthetic brushes especially they don't absorb the product so most of it stays on your skin. They tend to give the best coverage however I love working it in with a beauty blender. Also you can take your time with this because with some foundations I feel like you have to work so quickly because they set super super fast this isn't one of them this one you can really take your time because it is so light it just tends to hang around until you're ready to work it in and play with it so that's one layer and that's all I do honestly such such good coverage I wish I'd done it on one side so I could compare that's what shocked me the most and that was what impressed me the most that is so lightweight it feels like there's nothing on your skin yet the coverage is so good they market it that it's a light to full coverage if you wanted a lighter coverage then you could use less product it's a very very good price point as i said really really nice lightweight i love that they have that range of different undertones so it's a glass bottle people might not be happy with that i just want to say that i took this on a holiday with me i had no problems didn't smash didn't break and it was fine I cannot think of any faults with this foundation right now. I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, please ask. For concealer, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer. I've actually stopped putting concealer on my chin because I felt like it was giving me a weird cast. I don't know. I'm just weird. I'm going to mix that with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. Literally took me about 100 years to try this. This is a medium dark neutral. I wish I got it lighter um, and you'll see why it's not. It's like kind of doesn't really add a brightening effect, it's more neutralizers than anything. But I like the consistency of it, so I like mixing it. Then I just blend that in with my damp beauty blender. Yeah, so I'm actually off on holiday again, guys, in like a week. I'm off to San Antonio in Texas. If anyone has any recommendations of places to visit, I'm going with my mum. We're going for about two weeks. 
Um, so if anyone has any recommendations or places that I should visit or places I should check out, then definitely let me know. I've never ever been to Texas, it's like my fifth American state. I'm very excited, it's very different from all the other states I've been to. You know how weird the face looks when you've just done foundation and you look like just a blank canvas, like, like a naked mole wrap? To add some complexion back into the skin, I'm going to use my black up contour stick <coughs> in 03. I've started doing this thing where I place the contour above, above the high point. Um, as opposed to on it. It seems to be working very well. So I'm going to use my Elf Stiffen brush and my Vitamin E Vitamin E Vitamin E Hydrating Mist from Superdrug. Taking my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation as always in the shade Hazelnut, I'm just going to go right ahead and set my entire face, just make sure everything is married in and blends in really nicely together. And I'm using my Morphe E2 brush to do so, best foundation brush ever. Right, we're going to go right ahead and contour our cheekbones. And to do this, I'm using the highlight and contour palette from NYX. So I'm not using the highlight portion, I'm just using the contour portion. So I'm going to take a mix of the bottom two. So if we're holding it like this, a mix of these two down here. I'm dipping more into that cool tone one to give myself more of the illusion of shadows as opposed to the warmer tone ones which would make me look more bronzy. We'll do the eyes real quick and then we'll go back to the rest of the face. So I'm going to take Coco Bear, which is this shade right here, I'm going to run that all over the lid. This is the Morphe M573. So I'm going to take Coco Bear and just run her everywhere really, into the crease and just, just this one colour. You can use any colour that matches your skin tone best. I just use Coco Bear because it's very complimentary to mine. finish off the eyes I'm just going to add a wing using my black track fluid liner and I'm gonna take my Urban Decay 24 hour glide on eye pencil in perversion just gonna run that into the waterline this is like the blackest black eyeliner pencil I've ever used. And then slightly below as well, just getting ready to smoke out that lower lash. And also up the top. Good, good, good. Right, let's smoke out that lower lash. I'm going to take my Morphe 25A just because it's got black. So we're going to take that black. Just basically just grab a black. and then smoke it down slightly, just slightly. And then grab a little detailer brush. I'm gonna take a brown, just any brown is fine guys, and just smoke that out. Cool. I'm just gonna apply mascara to the top and the bottom lashes. Not too much on the top because I'm going to wear, wear falsies, obviously. For lashes, I'm going to be using my Demure lashes. This is in the style Congos. I'm using my Vitamin E Hydrating Mist from Superdrug. Yamani Elise on Instagram actually put me onto this. She said it was a really, really good dupe for Max Fix Plus. Fix Plus. And what I do is I just use that after I've put on all the powders on my face, but before I've done my highlighter. So it just settles everything, makes everything less cakey and more together. I'm going to use my MAC Gold Deposit. I always use two highlighters because um, I'm extra. So I'm going to start by using my MAC Gold Deposit as my base highlighter. And I'm applying this with my Morphe M501 as always. And I create a semicircle as well. I've also gone back to doing something I used to do a lot before where I just smile on the apples of my cheek and just brush a little bit of highlight there so you can catch a little bit of highlight at the front also. 
forehead, nose, quite love the nose, I like that look, and then up here, and then also on my chin. And then I go over top in the exact same places with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey, more intensity on the cheekbones, less intensity down the middle of the face. Put that on, Ooh. girl, yes. And with this Laura Geller, I tend to focus this down and then feather it up, so most of the intensity is here. Tap there, tiny bit there, tiny bit on there. Gonna take my CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer and my Morphe M527 and just make sure that the bronzer and the con the highlight and the contour are married together, so in place of where you usually use a blush, I use a bronzer. Tap there. Right, to finish off, we're going to do the lips. My lip pencil from Colourpop in the shade Ellery, which I use all the time because I'm a creature of habit. And then in the middle, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crimson. Take your time with reds, guys, because if you make a mistake, it's going to have to start again. I'm going to go over top with Cherry Blossom, which is like my go-to red. I tried something different, didn't work, let's do something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my hair and then we'll come back and see how we're feeling about the red lips because right now, I don't know if I'm sure. Okay guys, so this is the finished look for you. I'm not sure how I feel about red hair and red lips. I'm not sure if this is a bit of me at all, but... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. So hope you guys enjoyed my little two pence on the NYX Total Control Foundation. It's a yes for me, it's a love for me. Let me know if you guys try it, let me know if you've tried it and what you think. Any grievances that I might have not picked up on, that you might have picked up on maybe? Share it, let's get a little discussion going in the comment section. I love it when that happens. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.